Well, it is a new piece of technology that we've developed. Um, essentially, it enables customers to send an item anywhere in the Republic of Ireland uh, without the need for a physical stamp. Uh, in its place, uh, you can get a 12-digit code, which is available from the OnPost app. And essentially, you download the OnPost app. Uh, you go through the process of selecting which particular size of envelope you're sending. Um, obviously, then you select uh, uh, your payment method. And then once you actually complete that task, you'll be then presented with a 12-digit alphanumeric code, okay. which you then write onto an envelope. Into the corner. In, exactly, exactly. Okay, so I have a little question for you here. So if it's yeah. raining, for example, and the ink starts to run, or, for example, Mary down in Port Leash, you know, we can't read her writing, for example, what yeah. happens in yeah. that situation then? Well, first of all, we do obviously ask the customers make sure that their handwriting is as legible as possible. Okay. Uh, should there be any difficulty with it, I mean, we have some very high, uh, high level technology here uh, that enables us to read all these uh, stamps and make sure that they're valid and so on. If for whatever reason we can't read that, we have a process whereby we're able to look at that and make sure that it's valid and then send it on its way. Okay, so before we let you go, what do you prefer now, the old little stamp or the new digital well, code? <laughs> I have to say, um, the real benefit of the digital stamp, which is true, uh, uh, untrue for the, post, uh, the regular postage stamp is that you get notification when the item has been delivered okay. and so that's a really nice feature that if you send your item um, we'll pass it on through our postal operators will scan it when it comes to mm. the door and then obviously customers now will the price the, the old stamp is 125 this is two euro correct it's a bit correct. of a high bit of a tight squeeze at correct. the moment well essentially it does pay for the postage the regular postage uh, elements but it has that added feature of the convenience being able to get it on your smartphone there and then okay. uh, but also we also check all the, uh, the digital stamps at the end of the process scan them and then we notify the customer that it's arrived. Okay. So it's a really nice feature that we think so is, uh, is nice good value sense. for money. Okay, uh, Sarah, for you, the digital stamp or the old digital stamp? Oh my gosh, that is such a hard question. Obviously, our traditional stamps are so beautiful and, like, you know, there are many pieces of art, but I think, you know, going forward, because I am such a... I'm biased. <laughs> I am biased, stamp. but it would be the digital stamp for, for me. For me, guys, it's the traditional stamp. On post.com for more information, back to you guys in the studio. I love the old deserves stamps. Deserves to be on a stamp someday. If we get rid of all stamps, Derek will never be on a stamp. Unless it'll be an NFT code. Derek the digits. Derek the Derek's, Derek's digits. Derek's digits. That would Two be... euro is a bit of like, I suppose if you're going to, if you want the confirmation back and you want the, the ease of use of, you do need to write all the digits down then? I just wonder how people who like work in post offices are like, oh lads, come on. We like giving out our stamps. Give us something. I don't know. What do you make of it? 0896